guys what is up so in this video i'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of this jelly comb um wireless bluetooth keyboard and so it is compatible with android um ios and pcs and macs and all that jazz so you don't have to worry about that and it can do two channels at once and without further ado let's get into the unboxing so to start let's take a look at the packaging on the front, we have a picture of the device, and um, on the sides, we have nothing much. And on the bottom, we have jelly comb, and on the top, we have another jelly comb, um, word, the word text jelly comb. And then on the back, we have another picture, um, um, uh, a product key, uh, or not a key, a product scanner and then made in china so now let's get let's unbox this thing so i'm going to from the back pull out this tab and so just some background info i bought this primarily for my ipad and i'll do some demos with my ipad later but now let's pull this out so all right pull those tabs out Let's see. All right, and there we go. It opens right up. So right out of the box, we have a nice cover to protect it. And so it has two sides that have um, covers. And then, so here it is. And so right out of the box, right here, we have um, a keyboard cover, and I like that. It can protect your keyboard even more, even though it's already supposedly fingerprint resistant. And now let's take out this tray, and is there anything else? No, so let's just put that aside. And so here, right under this tab, we have a micro USB charging cable. Um, and so let's take this out. And the micro USB isn't amazing, but it'll work, especially since it comes with one. So we'll take put that away. All right, so here is the actual keyboard. Let's unbox it. So let's see here. Oh, and the first thing I noticed when I was opening, when I was carrying the box was how heavy it was. And it makes me feel like this is a premium keyboard. I didn't just pay for some cheap junk. This is a weighted keyboard. And you know what? On that topic, I'm actually going to go grab a scale and weigh it. So I just grabbed my kitchen scale and I have it right here and I already turned it on. So let's weigh this thing. And this is 24.85 ounces. All right. And so that's just good to know. So 24.85 ounces. And so here we have a user manual. And I'm just gonna put this plastic away and this thing away. And so let me just skim through that real quick. All right, so I'll just reference the manual throughout the setup process and all that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put this on to start. All right, and let me just try typing just to see how it feels. All right, and that's a nice experience. And let me just try it without it. All right, so it's pretty much the same, except for I do like how this feels. It's sort of nice. So I'll keep that on. And now, as you can see, on the right-hand side, um, you have the micro USB charging port. Um, and so that's not the most awesome but let's see and let's see if it comes charged so I just turned it on all right so now you can see that indicator to show that it's on um, so now I'm just gonna turn it back off because I don't need it right now and I will go do some um, testing and I'll come back to you and do um, a demo with my iPad I'll see you, um, I'll see you soon 
Alright guys, so I'm back after a bunch, a bunch of testing, actually literal days of testing, not only of testing, but I have been testing, and I am back actually with my new 10.2 um, inch iPad, and um, it's actually right here. I will be doing a, um, I will be doing a review on, I haven't actually done a review on it. And it came a couple days ago, um, but stay tuned for that review. It should be coming sometime soon, but that's not right now. I'm just going to be using it with this keyboard. So just, I have my notes app opened. I don't know if you could see here. You know, let's do this. All right, so I have my notes app opened. And I actually really like... So here, let me first go over a couple of pros and cons of... Um, of the uh, keyboard. I, uh, some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like. And um, so to start with this cover thingy, first of all, it does actually start to get like sort of dusty because all the dust sticks to it. And so that's a little bit annoying. And also another thing is when you're typing, Sometimes, like, you miss the key because, like, your fingers drag against this rubbery material. Um, and so that can be a bit annoying. Um, but other than that, it's, like, actually 1.1 and a half pounds, approximately. And um, it's hefty. It feels pretty premium, though. It's, like, nicely made. It's made out, it's made out of plastic, but it still feel, it makes it feel premium. Um, and so right now it's paired with my iPad and let's do a little bit of typing. So I'm just going to write, I'm going to make the title of this note, note, and I'm going to write, and so again, it's not like the smoothest typing experience, but like you can't expect this to go up against like a, a bigger, much bigger keyboard like this. Um, and, but it, it does the job well. I was honestly going to, I bought this for this iPad. And so I was just going to be using it to like compose blog posts on the go. Also to make typing it much easier. So I'm just going to write, um, hello there. All right, so it's a pretty nice typing experience. Uh, let's just see how the keys sound. All right, and I just typed some gibberish while doing that. But um, also another thing is when you're like holding backspace instead of a normal keyboard, at least on the iPad, it still goes at a pretty slow pace and that's annoying. Also, control backspace doesn't do anything. It just backspaces normally. So that's something to bear in mind. And like you can't, if you hold a key, it doesn't like do the thing where it starts typing that r key really fast. So that's a little bit annoying. It takes some getting used to. And actually, uh, I, I'll admit, the first time I went back to my full-size keyboard, it felt amazing. The keys felt so much bigger. Um, so that just gives you a good comparison. But other than that, for what I use it for, I think that this is an amazing keyboard. Um, but let me know down in the comments below whether you think that this is an amazing keyboard with a good price or if you think that it's too heavy and uh, too heavy to be um, a, a portable keyboard but not big enough to be a normal keyboard so again let me know your thoughts in the comments down below I really want to hear from you um, and thank you guys so much for watching uh, this is tech with Bernie signing off I will catch you in the next one and as always, you can find the link to buy this product in the description down below. I hope this helped. Thank you so much. A, a like and subscribe would mean so much to me. This is, again, bye.